based international criminal court uh, is this evening set to make a key ruling that will determine whether Deputy President William Bruto and his co-accused Joshua Arab Sang have a case to answer in relation to the 2007-2008 post-election violence that rocked this country. Anxiety is high, particularly in Rift Valley, which is Ruto's backyard, as his family and supporters hope that the 6 p.m. communication will be no case to answer. Duncan Hayamba is keeping an eye on the ICC and gives us the following report. Cometh the hour, cometh the verdict. At 6 p.m., all eyes in Kenya will be on the International Criminal Court as Kenyans, led by Deputy President William Ruto and journalist Joshua Sang, get to know their fate as far as their case is concerned. Kina mwana habari Joshua Sang na naibu wa rais ndi walipanga wacha haki tendeke ni kama si hao ndi walipanga wacha hile haki na itendeke na yu koti kwa sababu watu walienda kwa yu koti wakijua ya kuamba ni haki ndi yinyo wanataka. Judges Chilo Suji, Olga Kabusha and Robert Fema will be expected to make a very critical pronouncement that will determine the fate of Kenya's Deputy President William Ruto and his co-accused journalist Joshua Sang. Should the ruling which will be uploaded on the ICC website give a nod to the prosecution, then it means the defense teams for both Ruto and Sang will now go back to the drawing board and ready themselves for a grueling round of defense. However, should their request for a case to answer be granted, then the two will be set free, even though ICC Chief Prosecutor Fatou Ben Souda could still appeal the decision. And we know that this problem was spontaneous, and nobody planned for this. And we know that also the charges in this world, or in this heart, may be pious. In Eldoret, the DP's hometown, there is calm as residents count down to the hour. Joshua Sang is in the capital Nairobi, while the DP Ruto is in his Harambe Annex office where he'll be working until late, according to his spokesman. Duncan Hemba, KTN News.